Once you have each individual page design, so let's take a look at each. That's our index. This is our about us. And this is our contact us page. Naturally, what you're going to want to do is add links to each of these pages. So if we take a look at our menu, we did add link tags to these. So you'll note that with the link tag, what it's actually doing is it's pointing to each individual page that we're exporting. Now with page tags, it'll automatically add the extension based on the export you're doing. So if you're doing HTML, it'll automatically add the HTML file extension. So you do not do that in pages. This is an example. Contact html would be an invalid page that will automatically be created um, in your link though you will have to add the direct actual address so if you're on a server and this was a page you might use contact uh, per se but because we're doing actual individual html pages we're going to add the file extension now with each link you'll note that each link has a respective page attached so we have contact for the page and we also have contact for the link we have about us for the page and we have about us for the link now be careful with your actual link names if you type about us uh, that might not actually serve the correct address on a server uh, normally it will typically but depending on how uh, the server admin is structured their actual setup it might not actually uh, redirect you in the correct way so you want to make sure that your file links are the correct addresses so we have a page called about us and we have a file link to about us we also have a page called index and we have a file link to index now once this exports we'll take a look at how it works Once the export is complete, we can visit our HTML5 folder, we can load our default page, and you'll see that now what we have is links created for each individual page. So if we navigate to that page, you can see that it created a link for each page directly from our PSD using our layer tags.